He did his voice when he gives the guard outside firm instructions, then a hush as soon as he departs and his footstep fades away. And that's right where I think he gets uh, Ashton by, the, by the, the throat. You remember when Ashton broke into the house, he went to the attic? And the attic is like right next to uh, 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 Luke Wright's bedroom. It's probably when he, he met uh, Ashton. Which is what, which would explain why he said to Ashton when he got him, "What did you do with the madam?" That's what he asked. As was his first question, because he didn't know where she was. As quickly as the silence settles, lightning flashes across the sky, followed immediately by the loud boom of thunder. And that wanker strikes so dangerously close that I can feel the electricity in the air. The power goes out not a second later and I feel as I'm being mocked by whatever greater power there is. All is deathly still for a moment but soon the rain starts once again. Far heavier than the light drizzled from this morning, it's pity, bitter petty. No. Bitter patter. Bitter patter. Hitting hard against this place throughout, this is a weird expression here. Despite the noise, I find myself drawn to my bed, exhausted, hoping for a little nap. I'm safe here, and I will be safe too. Broken will find her, and when I wake her, when I wake, she'll be here. It does not take long. Once my head hits the pillow, in a matter of minutes, darkness claims me. Bringing with it laughers and whispers of a twisted love from a long a time long gone. Oh, let's save. Sweet dreams, my love. It will be over soon. <laughs> <laughs> November 1st Yet, in spite of the unfamiliar voices and unwanted touches from shadows lurking in the dark, rousing is a slow, arduous process. Difficult, every limb heavy with lead, no matter aversion for the words they murmur in my ears or the sight of a horrid smile from afar, my body refuses to yield. I am at their mercy. Beyond fathomable reason, my consciousness refuses to pull the pool of the waking world, choosing to linger in the pits of a dream, gradually drawing me deeper into unknown depths. Somehow, even if I it fit, even if it might mean I may never open my eyes, I allow them. Not that I mind getting a few extra hours, of course. The bed's more than comfortable as it is. After an exhausted day yesterday, babysitting Kylie, the stress of finding an intruder in my own home, not to mention those bloody eyeballs they left. I think I deserve a little break every once in a while, especially after going through all that in that single day. I can only be on the receiving end of so many unacceptable things within the span of a few hours, you know? As gracious a host and person I am, my patience has its limits too. Although there's still that problem with Anna, I have not forgotten that of course, but that's why I hired Shrokken. He's competent enough, he won't even last a day in my service if he's any lesser than those half wits who think they can deceive me with sweet words. He's more than capable of working on his own without guidance. Let the butler take care of that little problem with Anna. While I, Anna. You do not need her. I am here. We are here. This is where your home is. Where you belong for the blood we share. Come back to us. How long has it been since? Oh, that's uh. How long has it been since? No one has never taken this long. Surely there should have been an update by now, <clears throat> right? 
So why isn't there? No. No. Please. Please don't go. Bloody hell, the Cretans I've surrounded myself with. <laughs> and it's not that enough reason to force myself out of there. As it always as it has always been the case. No. 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 What was that? My eyes fly open expecting the warm rays of sunshine filtering through the curtains. Only to be greeted by a blinding flash of light and a loud boom of thunder. That sounded nearly too close to my ears. Strong gusts of wind will occasionally burst in from the open balcony, bringing in drizzle of cold rain into the room. I must have left it open earlier before dusting off. The carpet of the and the floor closest to it is already drenched. Anna's going to be so cross once she sees this. Not that it's an immediate problem. If anything, it, if it's this power outage, we should be minding first. With the intruder still at large, steering through this darkness might be far more fatal than multiple stab wounds or a gunshot to the chest. Ah, oh, great. The power's still out. That is exactly what I need right now. Yes. Great. It's this storm, of course. I should have moved back to the penthouse to weather it in a much more comfortable setting. Already I can hear the creak and groans of this old place as rain beats against the windows. Yo Hans, has someone been sent to take the circuit breaker yet? No answer. Yo Hans? Silence. Shroken! Uh oh, he's being knocked out. Someone! Anyone? Still nothing and my cordial mood is quickly dissipating. Where are those idiots when you need them? It's really a wonder why he has not fixed this yet. Was I really out that long? It can be. It has only been a few hours after midnight. The time on my wristwatch is anything to go by. Unless I've forgotten to change it again after the last overseas trip a month ago. Though the delay is understandable. If he went looking for Anna as he promised. But bloody hell, my safety is also at stake here. Cursing, I still still letting my eyes try and adjust to the darkness while my hands fumble for my slippers. If that butler is not going to fix this, I may as well order the security posted outside to do it. It's probably just a blown fuse. Blown fuse. Anyone with a brain can repair one. Grabbing my jacket and with footwear finally on, I make for the door. Although in haste, I pause briefly when I glance when I glance gleam catches my eye. On one of my drawers, underneath the clutter I've yet to organize, the muzzle of a gun peeks out. Oh shit. Anna has never openly recommended commented my possession of it, but I know she does not approve of it, knowing the bloody firearms policy in this nation. Of course, I've not found much use for it in the seven years we've been together. Otherwise, she would have already had it thrown out years ago. Doesn't mean it won't be useful right now. Without second thought, I seize it, sending the stuff pile above it onto the floor. Eh? Yeah? Whatever. I get it to a letter. This blackout problem should be resolved first. Right next to my missing security detail as it turns out. Where the fuck did everyone go? Everyone disappeared. There were two, weren't there? Trogan had two blokes posted to stand guard for the night. I might be panicking for a, ta for a bit earlier, but I'm quite sure I've not gotten delusional yet. What? Did both of them decide to take a break? Because they think the master's already sound asleep and won't be looking for them? Damn nitwits. Nitwits. I know when assassinations happen very rarely these days, and even less in a peaceful, in a peaceful city like Luxburn, but bollocks. There's been a woman going in and out of this place uninvited, who may have or may not want to put a knife on my back. And another peasant managed to break into this house just the other, way, the other day. 
Isn't that enough reason to stay on alert? I'm a fairly certain Shroken won't just enlist their help just for this power outage, ready to leave me unprotected. We have a difficult friendship, so to speak, but I doubt the man is an opportunist. I am holding the lives of his family in my hands, after all. He knows what I'm capable of doing. He's not stupid enough to do anything that will endanger them as and save only himself. So where then? Only my footsteps echo along dark passage, and I am left gripping the end of my pistol for some sort of comfort. Without proper lighting, and with this storm still raging outside, the stories I've heard about this place seems to have some truth to it. Some. If I'm reaching and wish to entertain myself for a bit, I say there might also be ghosts whispering in my ears, Scotty. Of course, it's just the wind and the streams, the trees rustling outside. No, no, it's it's a ghost. It's a ghost. Yeah, it's a ghost. <laughs> Nothing good will come of allowing these thoughts to linger when problems are piling up. In front of me, one after another. Especially with the greets. Especially with what greets me once I get to the foyer. Oh shit! Though it's dark, the large windows illuminate the area much more. Hey, what's up, Alistair Wonderland? How are you? How far is this into the game? Uh, it's the last chapter actually. We're pretty far in the game. We're getting uh, close to the end actually. You're scared? Yeah, we're getting into um, the dance part. How are you, uh, Alistair? A large window in the other room. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm pretty uh, far into the game. Oh, if you want to see uh, what happened in the past chapters, where uh, there are voids on YouTube. So, if you want to check out my YouTube, it's down the video. Just go ahead and it's all there. And from where I stand at the top of the stairs, I can easily make out their forms, recognize them even. How are you, uh, Alistair Wonderland? It's all gone crazy when these intruders come into my house. I'm no stranger to a cop playing dirty. The smart ones knew that neither life nor criminals are going to play fair. But Lily, that the estate agent, she doesn't seem the sort. Not to mention Mint. And I trusted her. I trusted her to be a professional. At the very least, for fuck's sake. Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> if I were any less sober, I'd say this is the beginning of a joke. Yeah, a joke. Bloody trespassers, what's wrong with these people? Did they really think I'd be fine with them walking into my home like this? What are they even doing here? If I did not know any better, they might also be behind Anna's disappearance. That's right. They must have a motive. Make them pay. And it be better be a good one. All the wrong made to us. Or a bullet to the head is the least all of them will deserve. I don't make habit of harming women, of course, but this is just crossing the line. Let's see. A real estate agent and an interior designer walk into a mansion. How are you, uh, Alistair? How was your day? Thundercrackers once again, cutting me off. This time, it sounds it's close enough that it nearly feels as if the windows on the ground itself are rumbling. All is deathly still for a moment. I don't let it stop me, however, as I slowly make my way towards them, taking one careful step at a time, relishing the expression of fear in their eyes. I suppose there's something ominous in this sitting with the heavy rain outside and the lack of light here. I kinda like it, to be honest. Add something to the atmosphere? I suppose I must look like a villain right now. <laughs> what short of me getting close to them, a noise to my left distracts me, briefly halting my movement while curiosity takes over every murmur in my head. And it's a good thing perhaps that I did, because as soon as I look up, I see him. The detective from a few days ago, the one he mentioned, Ashton. 
just as he's about to jump down from furniture that he has somehow 